26-year-old Pettis against 31-year-old Kashakian, who, as I mentioned, is the taller fighter, has fought at the higher weights, but look at that. Both men with an identical 69-inch reach. Once again, with the introductions, Michael C. Williams. Here at the Forum, Bellator MMA continues now with three five-minute rounds in the bantamweight division live on the zone. We introduce the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in 135.9 pounds, making his Bellator debut tonight with 11 professional victories, four losses, fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, presenting the fearless Alfred. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot six, weighing in 135 pounds even for his debut inside the Bellator cage. He brings 18 professional victories with five defeats. Fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, introducing Sergio Pettis. In charge of the action, your referee, Frank Trigg. Frank Trigg, our referee. Good. Not only the Bellator debut of Chris Cyborg in our main event, Thank you. but Sergio Pettis making his Bellator debut against fellow newcomer Alfred Kashakian. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Ready? Fight. Here we go. Pettis in the red gloves, blue gloves for the fearless Alfred. Six straight first round knockouts for Kashakian. Not only six straight, he's got 11 out of his 11 wins all by knockout, Mike. He said, my power will be the difference. See the physical size difference. You have to stand in the center of the cage. What I did notice, though, is that Alfred doesn't move his head offline when he throws his punches. So that, just like that, beautiful counter by Sergio. And this is the, you know, just talking about this, and we were saying Sergio needs to get past this first round. He needs to get through the power that Alfred is going to come after him with, and just. Be the matador. Don't worry about when he comes at you. Just take your angles, use footwork to get you to use counters, and get your shots in when they come, and then just start turning it on. Well, I said it from the beginning, though, too, that Pettis, he can wrestle, and he likes to have the transition. You see it from guys out of his camp, Mayo Sanchez. Now Anthony Pettis is also working a lot with his grappling and his ground game as well. You see it from guys from that camp. And so if he can actually, like I said earlier, is press Alfred to the fence, get him to use a little bit of muscle and strength and blow up those arms a little bit, he'll slow just a slight bit down his, comp his punches and combinations. It's also one of the things that you want to do is, Alfred's got a big right hand. Bring that left leg kick up to that arm and hit that arm around that shoulder, bicep, tricep area, and just start to make it heavy. You also want to throw that head kick also, too, to make him make sure he stays loyal to that. And then later on in the fight, go to the body. Because if you know he's keeping that right hand up, protecting his head, keeping it cocked, that means that the body's open a little bit more. One of the things you're really seeing out of Sergio, though, look, watch what he does with his head. Little tiny movements, and as Alfred comes in, he'll make little tiny adjustments, just an inch and a half, two inches to one side or the other does not keep his head down the center line when he throws his hands or when that shot is coming his way, he doesn't just dip his head back. Likes the slip and rip the second degree black belt in Taekwondo. The Pettis family has two gyms in Milwaukee and of course, one of the greatest head coaches that Chael was referring to, Duke Rufus. Rufus Sport, just an incredible team in Milwaukee. You got Harley Davidson, you got Rufus Sport. Those are the two <laughs> biggest things I can do. Oh, shit. Big oh, shot. Just. He's in trouble. It's going to be over. It is going to be finished right here, right now. It is over. This fight is done. Alfred is not going to get out of that choke either. That arm is trapped. No way to stop it. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. He's out. It's all over. Sergio Pettis. Victorious. In his Bellator debut! How good is that? Right on Q!
When we talked to him at the fighter meetings, he said, look, I train with Emmanuel Sanchez, who's one of our featherweights. He trains with his brother. He's used to bigger guys, bigger guys that punch hard, bigger guys that press the pace. He showed it. it Very calm and casual, collective, just did a wonderful job. The counter, look at the head movement, and watch the hand come straight over. Boom! That right hand just starches him. Kashanyan tries to come back, but he just is not really there. And then the arm kind of gets trapped behind him. Watch the right hand. Boom! Right on the button. Here's real speed. Watch how fast. Boom! Watch that shot land. And he just starts jackhammering with that right hand. Goes to the rear naked choke. I'm sorry, the guillotine choke. And it is over at that point. You see the leg is trapping the arm, and he goes unconscious right there. Karshakian thought he had rocked him a little bit because he stayed down low after he grazed his head. When he stayed in that position, thinking if he popped up, I was going to land a punch with the uppercut. He went for the uppercut, hesitation, that is with a beautiful combination. Everybody back at home, Rufus Clark, thank you guys. Absolutely, you Serge time tonight, his first finish since September of 2013, and he does it in spectacular fashion here in his Bellator debut. The counter right, the submission, the victory, the 19th of his professional career. Sergio Pettis with the first round finish. Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the guillotine ends in three minutes into round number one. The winner by submission, Sergio Pettis. The big win for Sergio Pettis. I am here with your winner, Sergio Pettis. Welcome to Bellator there, brother. That was outstanding. Hey, man, thank you. Thank you, Bellator fans. My first time fighting in L.A., so I had to show out. What up, West Coast? Not only did you show up, you used beautiful footwork. You used beautiful taking your head, just little movements. You let him come at you with a lot of hard shots. You countered him that right hand. When it landed, did you know it was over? I didn't know it was over, honestly. I just knew he, he was hurt. I just went in there with a killer mentality today. I've been going to a lot of decisions. I wanted to bring something new to the table, so I brought a submission, almost a knockout. Um, just want to give a thank everybody at Rufus Sport, Combat Corner. Shout out to Halo Pets for keeping my dog well fed. Thank you guys so much. You talked about you didn't care how big someone is. You didn't care about how strong because you work out with guys like your brother who's bigger and stronger. Yep. Emmanuel Sanchez, does that prepare you to fight anybody here in this cage? Oh, for sure, man. Those guys are beasts. They train me every day. Big shout out to my bro. Shout out to Manny Sanchez, Rafael Stotts, Christian Rodriguez, Brian Bautista. Shout out to my guy Gabriel Vanderlei made his debut tonight. Thank you for letting me stay your father for the coaching. Nice shout out to uh, Daniel Vanderlei for that guillotine choke at the end. Hey, I just got my black belt, so I think that uh, that signifies it. Thank you, coach, so much. It's an honor to be a black one of you. I want to tell you, that was an outstanding performance. Welcome to Bellator, ladies and gentlemen, Sergio Pettis. Oh, baby. Just